Thank you for stopping by HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at examples of finding the difference quotient. In our first example, we have f of x, which is defined by 6x minus 1, and we want to look at the difference quotient of f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 over h, and of course h cannot be 0 because that would not provide a real number. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate this. First, we're going to look at just f of 3 plus h. We'll plug 3 plus h into the function, simplify it, then we'll go, so this is what we're going to do first. Second, we're going to look at f of 3 and plug that in and see what we come up with. And then we're going to put it all back together in the fraction. Okay, so first we have f of 3 plus h. That means anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with a 3 plus h. So because it's an expression with an addition sign, I need to put it in parentheses. Now I'm going to distribute the 6. This would give me 18 plus 6h minus 1. 18 minus 1 is 17, so I'm just going to put the 6h first. It doesn't matter which one you put first. Um, just, you know, generically we put the variable first. So we have 6h plus 17 when we're simplified. Okay, so step 1 is done. Step 2, plugging in f of 3. So this time I'm going to go back to that function f, and anywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with a 3. This would be 6 times 3 minus 1. That's 18 minus 1, which is 17. So I've done steps 1 and 2, now I'm going to put everything back together. So it's going to be 6h plus 17 minus 17 over h, and let's simplify this. 17 and minus 17 cancel, and we have 6h divided by h, which is equal to 6. Okay, in our next example we have g of x, which is defined by 2x minus x squared, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to plug in 5 plus h for, for ng and simplify, and then we're going to plug in 5 in g and simplify, and then we're going to put it all back together. So first we're going to look at g of 5 plus h, and again what this means is that anywhere in this function I see an x, I'm now replacing it with 5 plus h. So that would be uh, 2 times 5 plus h minus 5 plus h quantity squared. We want to be super careful when we see that subtraction sign because this whole thing needs to be subtracted, which means everything is going to turn to the opposite sign. All right, so let's clean this up. Um, we're going to distribute the 2. That's going to give me 10 plus 2h minus, and then when I do the exponent, right, because exponent has priority over multiplication or subtraction, however you want to interpret that sign. This is a binomial square, so it's the first term squared plus the two roots doubled, so that's 5 times h times 2 is 10h, plus the second term squared. And remember, all of this comes after subtraction, so now all those signs are going to change. So I'm just going to rewrite it. That's 10 plus 2h minus 25 minus 10h minus h squared. 80% of problems happen right there with that subtraction, and the other 20% happen with the subtraction in the difference quotient up there. Okay? Let's simplify this as much as we can. So let's look for like terms. I'm going to start with the h squared, which is all by itself. So I'm going to say negative h squared. Then I have 2h and minus 10h is minus 8h. And I have 10 and minus 25 is negative 15. All right, we did it. We simplified it. Let's move on to g of 5. This will be a little bit less work, so that's nice. That's going to be 2 times 5 minus 5 squared. And that would be 10 minus 25, which is negative 15. So now we're going to bring this all back together. We're going to start with this. Remember, this was the same thing as g of f, uh, excuse me, g of 5 plus h. So that's negative h squared minus 8h minus 15. And then minus, and part 2 was negative 15, all divided by h. So I see here negative 15 minus itself. That's going to cancel. That leaves us with negative h squared minus 8h divided by h. All three terms are divisible by h, leaving us with negative h minus 8. And that would be the difference quotient for this example. Our last example, we have the function called m. m of x is defined by 2x squared minus 4x. And we're going to look at m of 2 plus h minus m of 2 all divided by h. So again, we're going to start here first, go here. Second, bring it all back together. Third, m of 2 plus h is going to give me 2 times 2 plus h quantity squared minus 4 times 2 plus h. So we want to, here we have multiplication and exponents. The exponent will have priority. That is a binomial square. 
Um, so when I square 2 plus h, first term squared plus the product of the two doubled will be 4h plus the second term squared. Minus, and I'm going to distribute this minus 4, that's going to be minus 8 minus 4h. Okay, next we have m of 2 plus h, and we're going to distribute the 2, that's going to be 8 plus 8h plus 2h squared minus 8 minus 4h. Let's combine our like terms. I'm going to start with my h squared. I have 2h squared. Then I have plus 8h and minus 4h will be plus 4h. And plus 8 and minus 8, those cancel out, so that's, that's done. Okay, now we have, that was step 1. Step 2 is plugging in m of 2. When I plug in 2, I get 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2. Uh, 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And then here, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 minus 8 is 0. Oh, that's nice. So when we bring this all back together, we bring back step 1. That would be 2h squared plus 4h. Then it would be minus 0, which I can just ignore because subtracting 0 is not going to change anything, and put it over h. All three terms are divisible by h, so I'm going to simplify 1h from each, leaving me with 2h plus 4.